And so he came up with this great product idea that uh, will help you to do shoveling and raking and all those things where you're normally bending over and hurting your back and hurting your shoulders and make it much, much easier. So welcome to the show. It's so nice Thanks to have you me. here. I know you've only been on with this one other time and it's been very popular. So I wanted to get him in garden party. He invented something called the shovel assist. And as a contractor and a landscaper and a guy who can't hurt his back anymore, yeah. uh, this is something that was really a must have for you. I've used these tools for years and mm -hmm. actually these tools have always given me back pain as mm -hmm. they give most of us. Right. And you know, uh, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of gardening, you know, soon and yep. we're going to be using all of these tools and it seems, you know, it fits each one of these tools. Okay. It fits a one and a quarter inch shaft mm -hmm. and it just makes the Instead motion of bending that you down there, do, you take and you just kind of how much easier is do that? The job. So much easier. So watch how he's standing upright. He's still got two hands on the rake, but he's mm -hmm. not holding one hand way down here. Right. So I just want to come back here for one second and show you exactly mm -hmm. what you're getting. This is it right here. This is the shovel assist, and it's going to fit on most standard size poles that would be how much diameter? One and one quarter. One and a quarter inch. So your shovels, your rakes. Uh, if you've got a pole saw, uh, any of your hose, any of those kinds of things that you're using in the garden, uh, a snow shovel as well, yes. which a lot of us are, have just hopefully put away for the rest of the year. But that can be really backbreaking work. Right now, you're getting your shovels out to throw mulch around. You're raking things up. You're cleaning up for spring cleanup. In the fall, it's going to be those rakes with leaves and stuff. So instead of bending over, you just pop this right onto any of those poles, and now you've got a much more easy to use ergonomic handle, which you were saying actually creates leverage. Absolutely. Well, mm -hmm. you know, an up, first of all, an upright body is a strong body, mm -hmm. right? So whenever we put ourselves down in this position, even in a, in a low, you know, lower position, right. we put ourselves in danger for injury. Right. And uh, one of the things that is interesting about this is it also works in another way. So if, let's say, you have weight on the end of a shovel, and in this case, I have a cinder block, which most people wouldn't do. Right. But you know, if you were to hold it in a position and it's, you know, that you would normally be without the shovel assist. Oh, it's no, very please heavy don't and you lift can't, that up. Yeah, I know. And I can just feel that in my lower back yeah. because I know that's where you're feeling. But now it. look at my posture. I have a mm -hmm. tall posture and I have a body that's ready to take, you know, mm -hmm. to pull up weight. So right. I can pick this up. Wow. I can walk across the, uh, the studio with it without any problem. Wow. And one of the reasons why is it acts like a fulcrum. So it actually gives you more power. And, and, and just having the upright body gives you the power that your body has. It's, it's like what guys use to move furniture or anything that's heavy. Absolutely. So yeah. that you, it doesn't seem as heavy anymore because mm -hmm. of the way you're there picking are, up the weight. Mm -hmm. There are ways to, uh, to make a lot of things easier and it's just in the positioning that your body is in mm -hmm. and uh, you know. Yeah, and up high too. So, here she is, again, you snap it, we'll show you how to put it on in a second, but you basically uh, clip it on. Mm -hmm. It can move a little bit from side to side for you to turn your body, but it's not gonna slip up and down the handle once it's on there. It's gonna stay in the position where you put it. It's adjustable, so you can put it wherever it suits your height and your reach on that handle. And it just, oh, I love it with a paint roller. Oh, it's great for, yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. So we've actually, when we come back, ew, I hope I don't have to do that anymore for a while. But I, <laughs> I'm no definitely shoveling, throwing absolutely. around river rock in my pond and mulch in the in the garden. Here's some ideas just back here of different things you can clip this onto. Mm -hmm. And then, um, uh, Tony, I want you to show everybody how to clip it on. Sure. So here's a rake, there's a hoe, there's a shovel, a snow shovel. Uh, you've got that on the end of a pole saw, which is great. And again, it's great. taking the weight off. If I mm -hmm. were here, I mean, I'm now. Well, and a lot of you have the Sun Joe pole saw, mm -hmm. and this makes it even easier to Absolutely. use that. Absolutely. So when I get this home and I want to put it on my rake, mm -hmm. show everybody how to do that. Sure. Okay. So it's just like a, our grandfather's tackle box latch. I mean, it's a, it's it's something that has worked for years, and mm -hmm. you know, it's just a very simple. Okay. So let's so do let's it. let's catch up with you here. So mm -hmm. you just first of all, you clip that sure. part on. Right. You press it on a one okay. and a quarter inch shaft. Okay. All right. You flip it over. There you it'll, go. It'll go over the latch here. Okay. And then you snap flip. it closed. So and then now, it's on there. now show them it's not going to slide up and down. No. But if you need to slightly adjust it side to side as you're, you know, absolutely so or what, it will move. You a little can bit. move it a little if mm -hmm. you like the positioning to be a little on an angle. Okay. I'm a lefty. You, okay. you know, you, you may want it on the other side. You can do that. Great. But as you can see, it's pretty snug, and you can't 
just can't move it. You know, Excellent. give it a try. Yeah, well, let me let <laughs> me try. Let me just let me just mm -hmm. try it because again, I'm right-handed. So mm -hmm. if I'm using a shovel or something, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna go this way. But if I'm left-handed. Right. And I can also toss stuff this way. Uh, it's really, really easy to use. And I love the fact that I'm not down here. Absolutely. That and is. And I'm not the with work. a shovel doing this. <laughs> and, you know, because you've got to, in order to lift that weight, you've got to get way down and then you're uh, throwing that snow over like this. But Instead, you're up here. And you've got so much more upper body strength now. Let's take a look at a, sh at a snow shovel or even any, you know, designed ergonomic. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, a uh, tool. Mm -hmm. This is a great design where they curve right here. So let's yes. imagine this isn't on here. Look at my posture still. I know. This is with an ergonomic. Uh huh. You uh, know, uh, that's supposed. Oh. This shape is supposed to be easier to mm -hmm. use, but you're still bending Watch way this. over. Now I'm tall. Nice. And tall. Now I'm on my back leg. I'm, uh -huh. I'm, I'm using the pressure of my right. body to do the job. Well, and I'm when growing with a fulcrum. You know, use. When you lift, your doctor will tell you lift with your legs. Absolutely. Don't lift with your back. So this is now we're not lifting. Now it's your legs. Your the, it's the lower body, mm -hmm. not your back and shoulders. Well, over 500 are ordered. This is very popular, and I think this is going to make a lot easier time of it. I know we have a lot of folks at home who are still gardening a lot and you like doing things yourself because it saves money and this will allow you to do a lot more of those chores much easier if it gives you more strength and it doesn't hurt your back and you can do it yourself now you i can. like doing a lot of things myself it saves so much money yes great idea tony thank, thank you. you so much for bringing thank this you so in. much guys this is the shovel assist try it try snap it on all of those tools you're using it's very popular Okay, we have uh, lots of decorative stuff still to come, and one of them is Philip Watson. Uh, but he's a lot more than just decorative, although you could just stand in my garden and look pretty, Philip, if you want to. But uh, we have some pretty pictures of your garden to show you right now on my Facebook page. So let's go to the big board, and we'll go to Carolyn Gracie Facebook, and we've got that pretty butterfly compass home spinner coming up in a minute, too. So we'd love to see your pretty garden pictures.